to respond in 10 business working days and their so acceptance rate is very 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 high they also have automatic scholarship that they offer so many programs that will help you to get your pr very very fast hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again to my new subscribers my name is gifty i mostly share content about anything in helping you in relocating to canada and life in canada in general to my returning subscribers hey family you are the pro Thank you for always staying here with me liking my videos and sharing as well i really really appreciate guys thank you very much for staying too so today the long awaited video that i wanted to bring is here guess what fleming college is open for admission currently and if you don't know i am a current student of fleming college studying pharmacy program and I would like for you to join me here so that we get our vibes together all right so if you don't know fleming college is in ontario peterborough and one thing about fleming college is that they don't delay with the admission response no so this really helps you not to spend so much money in applying for another college because normally because of delayances in response you have to apply for like three colleges okay and this is very very helpful because fleming college can give you response in 10 business working days so it's either within a week or two so this is great you will know your stand before you even apply for another college and their acceptance rate is very 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 high it is very very high so currently they are open for admission for so many programs for so so many programs one thing about Fleming College is that they also have automatic scholarship for students with good academic standing it is automatic you don't need to apply for this and also one thing about them is that they offer so many programs that will help you to get your PR very very fast so guys please i don't want you to delay on this application after this video please pick your laptop pick your phone get your documents scanned and upload this fast because as at the time i was recording this video i know the application was open but if you are not fast by the time you log into the portal many of the programs will be closed for admission because people really really like this college and they are moving in very very fast and the application closes very very fast so guys don't delay let's get into the video as i always share my content i will break it down for you how to search for your programs how to look at the admission requirements i will also explain the grading system for you we will look at the scholarship that they have for international students and also i will put you through the application process on the ocas portal because that is the site that you would apply for fleming college and also one thing about fleming college is that you can use one application fee to pick three programs is this no good this is great so please please don't delay at all so guys i won't delay you so much let's get into today's video hello so this is why you would do you have to go to your google your chrome any browser you have you type fleming college then you search okay so we are here and when you are um typing you have to search you have to be careful because we have a whole lot of schools um that fleming is affiliated to we have one in toronto okay so you have to make sure that you are searching the one in peterborough okay so this is how it looks like so when you come so when you open you can come to study then full-time programs a to z so when you come to their full-time program if you have any specific um any specific 
program that you want to search you can just choose from the alphabet so let's say we want um p so we have personal support worker bridging to practical nurses so this program when you start you can bridge into nursing diploma in nursing okay so this is a certificate program and then we have pharmacy technician program which is a very very good program um it's a diploma program and it is open for may 2024 and september 2024 we have plumber we have plumber apprenticeship level three advanced so let's say we have project management pre-service firefighters we have police foundation we have practical nursing which is open for may 2024 september 2024 january 2025 so let's say we want to choose um pharmacy technician so when you come here you click availability so domestic may is open september application is also open for domestic but for international september 2024 is closed but may 2024 is open which is a great they have other programs here that you can search for so many programs that you can search for fitness and health promotion community and justice carpentry renovation they have so many tech programs accounting and business blasting techniques business human resource a whole lot of programs that you can just search into so let's say we want to choose um one program let's so let's say we have chosen the pharmacy technician program um they are accepting application for may 2024 which is a spring intake international available they are accepting application currently um the school of health and community service is a hybrid program ontario college diploma is a diploma program this is the international tuition fee it's a two-year program for semesters so when you come you come to the program highlight you can just tap here to read a lot about the program career opportunities for you related programs that you can bridge into then your english proficiency requirement of which some countries are exempted from if your credentials are in england you should be exempted non-academic requirement this is mostly done when you land yourself in canada okay so let's go to the admission requirement it's a co-op program as well so that is a good deal a co-op program means that you would be working so uh, we look into the admission requirements what is admission okay so we come here minimum admission requirements is the grade 12 c english grade 12 c mass grade 11 university or grade 12 c chemistry grade 11 biology so this is a program which um if you have um pursue science as your secondary um level program then if you've gotten c any of the c's in your english or math and biology and chemistry then you can apply for this program that is just the admission requirements for you so you just have to submit your um wasi results certificates and transcript then you would also add a wasi scratch card for verification so this is for science students so when you go to other programs as well this is, this is the process you follow to get your uh to know your admission requirements and 
the other overview of the program so it's the same procedure so any program that you choose is the same procedure you go through to look at it so always also check the number of semesters so if it's a postgraduate program then you should expect it to be one year if it is a diploma program you should expect it to be four we can also search their um financial aid okay They have so many financial aid. Let's see the financial aid for students. They have scholarship and bursaries. Financial aid for new students is also there. Financial aid and budget calculator. They have all these things. So let's look at their scholarship and bursary. Mostly the school, the scholarship of the school is based on academics. Okay, so they have a certain gpa when you hit that gpa automatically you don't need to apply for um, a scholarship and they will just give it to you registered students with an active timetable are able to apply for all bursaries that are administered by the college through our single online bursary application so this is what i did this year and i received my bursaries um so by completing the application you would be considered for all college administered bursary and scholarship for which you are eligible so um this bursary you have to land here before you can apply in your semester scholarship for international students Fleming college is proud to support international students in their pursuit of higher education and academic excellence in our ongoing effort to better serve our international students we are currently working on an exciting new scholarship structure we kindly ask for your patience as we finalize the detail updates will be shared on this page as soon as they are available so that means they are working on scholarship for international students. This is great. This is great. So you come to apply now. It will lead us through the OCAS International Portal. That is where we do the application. Apply as international. And then when you come here, how to apply for international education. The first thing you have to do is to choose a program so you have to go and choose your program search for everything about the program and then um, be sure to check the following program start date do i meet the minimum admission requirement this is why you have to check does the length of the program meet my visa application so before your length of program can meet the visa application uh, for you to get your visa your program should exceed six months you should take a program that exceeds six months so that is what they are saying it is at least two semesters in length so after you check all these things and you are eligible you just gather your document so for diploma program you scan original or certified or notarized secondary school graduate transcript so Please include your scratch card information submitting from Wayek region. So that is what they are saying. You have to add your scratch card, your Wayek scratch card for verification. So all what you need is your scan copies of the secondary school graduate transcript and certificate. And if you are um, pursuing for a diploma, sorry, for a postgraduate program, you scan the original copy of the university or college transcript so for postgraduates you will use your university or college transcript okay so all documents must be translated to english where applicable by an official so this is when you are not from english language country okay so check the english language testing requirements and this is normally uh, for those that are not from english language country if you know your education will not was not taught in english then you are required to convert your documents to um 
to, to go for evaluation. That is the worst evaluation. So when you have to apply, it is stated here, accepting application now. The accepting application now. Application is pending for me. So um, he said we process application as quickly as possible. Guys, that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> they will just respond in one week in two weeks so as they are saying here with a goal of providing offer within 10 business days of receiving an application and there's just one thing about the application process time can vary due to the volume of application though check your old cards so these are all information but guys they are very very much committed when it comes to this 10 business working days and as i was saying apply as early as possible in order to allow enough time to obtain your visa they have stated it for you um how to apply so this is how you have to apply you have to go to direct applicant if you're not using agent then you have to go to the ontario college um, of international application so that is what you'll be using to submit so new applicants will be required to pay 100 fee canadian dollar when submitting an application so that is how much you are going to pay for your application fee then uh, how to finalize your application so you have the option to select three programs okay from the ocas so this is how the process you create an account there you pay your application fee submit your application for review you upload your document view your status the status of your application then when you get your acceptance you print that you print the acceptance letter confirm the acceptance on the ocas portal then you update your personal information so this will be all after your um application so when you receive an offer <coughs> access your offer through the international application portal pay the deposit and fees as required in the offer letter so this is where i was telling you that you can pay a deposit fee then the rest of the fees you can just take a payment plan with them before a deadline then you will receive your fee receipts then you begin to apply for your study permit so basically that is how it works so let's move to how you would apply so let's go here okay so i already have an account there so if you don't have an account then you have to sign up you have to sign up with your email address and you create a password so i have an address there so i'll just type it in so it, then here we go so um this is the ocas portal okay so because i've already filled something it will just come like this so in case you are here you just have to come to your personal information you just fill your detail your first name your second name um is the above name the same as what appears on your legal document as your passport yes then your date of birth your gender your citizenship current status in canada your status in canada is what you have no status in canada currently you are from ghana your passport number expiry date then your passport country issue you come with your address you fill everything here then your gmail that you use your number your emergency contact number you also provide that one then you save and you continue so are you using an agency no existing student information no then you move to the next option 
so this is what is important okay if you don't select this part very well they will require of you to provide an english proficiency test so when you come here it says that program selection okay so if you know you are from english language country and you don't need to submit ielt then you have to type here you have to uh, click this checkbox it says that my first language is english or non -or provided option are applicable so that means your first language is you have to select this part before you move to your program selection so when you come to your program selection um you come to your term which term do you want to maybe you want so what credentials do you actually want is it a diploma then you select watch program so the program options will come like this and then practical nursing is there social service worker is the mental health and addiction is there then pharmacy is also there so when you click the program it should appear like this to tell you yes it is open okay you have to see this sign if it is closed then you have to choose another program so the campus is in Peterborough, then it's in May 6, 2024. Okay, it's four semester program. So they will allow you to select three programs. So make sure your first option, like the program you want, comes first. Okay, and then you come to your second program as well. You select your second program then so if you see this close so that means police foundation is closed for winter 2024 and can just choose any program so you see this program computer engineering technician is open okay so that will be your second choice and then you come to your third program you select your third program then you can move on like that so when you move on it will tell you to provide your education okay so <clears throat> because i haven't completed right so the education column will come that is where you would provide the details of your education you provide the details of your education then you come to your supporting document that is where you would provide the document that was needed for your admission requirements then you review then you make your payments then you submit that is all about how to apply and this application procedure can be um is applicable in all the applications on ocas portal okay so if you don't understand ocas portal it is an ontario college schools that you can apply to so if you want me to create that content can you leave a link in the description box for me and i will do as you say so basically that is how the application process is all about hi guys i know you have enjoyed this video so far please don't delay pick your document pick your credentials and apply as soon as possible because it might close so don't delay pick your laptop pick your phones get a scan copy get your wire scratch card and apply as soon as possible so please if you've enjoyed this video so far i would like you to just subscribe hit the notification button so that any information that i will bring here you will be the first person to get notified also share to people who need this information and please like my video if you won't do anything for me just like this video at least just like this video for me so you can join my whatsapp group where i can assist you with your application and any challenges that you have in your application if you haven't watched my other videos please go and watch it to give you some insight about this whole process i have other content that i have shared as well i have linked my whatsapp group in the description and also in the comment section that you can click and join my whatsapp group thank you very much bye bye